Welcome back to Great Photography and Video on the Budget. I'm George E. Harrison, and it's Video Tuesday. And you know, when it comes to shooting street scenes, some photographers like to go out early during the day, some like to go in the late afternoon, and some like to go out what they call the golden hour, right before and right after sunset. Well, I like to go out at night, you know, prefer between 9, 8, 9 p.m. and 2 or 3 a.m. because that's when the streets are quiet, and about the only people that are out are people that are working in the police. Because I like to shoot street scenes you know, buildings and things like that. I'm not interested in photographing people at night. I want to just photograph buildings because a lot of times they, they'll, they'll talk to you when you look at them at night under the glow of the lights. Well, if you have active imagina imagination, they will talk to you. So I took my camera and I went out last night driving around Chimney Rock Road in Greensboro taking pictures of the pumping station. Yes, pumping stations. You pass them every day and you probably don't pay them any attention. But under the glow of the lights, they take on a whole new world. So come along with me, and especially my imagination, as you know, we take a little trip up to Greensboro, and I'll see you on the other side. During the day, it is just a pumping station, but at night, under the glow of the lights, it is a mystical place. I wonder if we could go inside and experience the wonders that are within. During the day, it's just a car wash, but at night, it becomes a time machine taking you back to your first car and its first car wash. How long ago was that for you? At night, this plain scene becomes living metal snakes trying to escape on a tanker truck, surrounded by an outworldly orange glow. Do you ever notice this pumping station during the day? But at night, the brightly lit, intertwined metal snakes draws your eyes to them. How many times do you pass this pumping station and never give it a second thought? But at night, the clouds drifting overhead call your name and say, stop for a minute and gaze upon my brightly lit beauty. Well, this is what they were saying to me. What do you hear? Well, I hope you had as much fun looking at the pictures of Tucker Greensboro as I had, you know, walk, you know, out walking around last night. It was a little cool, but still, that's part of photography. That's just the fun of it. Because a lot of times when it's cool, there's not that many people out. And believe it or not, a lot of times when it's cold enough, sometimes even the muggers are, are not out. So you can actually be safe for walking around taking night shots. And always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to go down to the right-hand corner, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification button. If you're watching this on Facebook, you know, tune in on Tuesday and Friday and maybe other days during the week when I'm allowed to pop in because you never know with my imagination what might just pop in. And like I said before, I, I'm, I need your input because, you know, the more, the more we share ideas, the better off we are. Because, like, you know, my catchphrase is the more we learn about photography, the more we learn we didn't know. And I will see you Friday.